today we're going to talk about a special coat called the Ulster Coat uh, from Belfast. But that's saying never give up. Never give up no matter what you're doing. What part of the world are we going to go to today? We're going to go to Belfast. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to learn all about a coat. It's a special Ulster coat with short sleeves. Why was there short sleeves in a coat? Well, it's a very famous coat from all over the world and it was designed by a man in Belfast called John. Let's find out how it all happened. Here we go. Boys and girls, today I'm going to talk about a coat and overcoat. Do you ever think in the, in the cold weather, whenever you put on your coat, who designed these coats? Who designed your jumper, your trousers, skirts, shoes? Well, there was a famous coat called the Ulster Coat, and there was a man called John McGee, way back at the beginning of the 1900s, 1903, here in High Street in Belfast, John McGee had, uh, McGee had a business, and in this business he was designing a special coat, and he was, he was making it, manufacturing it, and selling it. And this coat became profound and famous in many parts of the world. People like Sherlock Holmes, ask your parents or your grandparents to remember Sherlock Holmes. He was a TV character who would smoke a pipe, but he was also wearing, always wearing one of these Ulster coats. Ulster coat was a dark coloured coat, but it was very warm. It was very stylish in its day and also had a cape on it. But what was quite renowned about it was it never had sleeves right up to your wrist or to your hands. The sleeves would stop to here. And that, the idea of that was that you're, you could be warm, you could have the cape over you, look very stylish stylish but your arms were also free to work and free to move. The coat's not so popular now but it was in its day and this man John McGee from Belfast became famous throughout the world for designing this coat and selling it to many parts of the world. For example, if you were a coachman, remember in the early 1900s, there wasn't fancy cars or, or even buses. There was often trams and especially horses. So if a man, a, a horse rider, a coachman who was uh, on a carriage with a horse, he would need to keep, he would often wear one of these capes. 
And whenever he wore a cape, he would keep his hands free so he could hold the reins of the horse or whip the horse. Or, so he needed his hands needed to be free as he was doing that. So whenever I think of the high street in Belfast and think of the cape and think of uh, from Belfast, this would have been a wee boy called John who went to school in his early days to learn how to read and write. Then he became a genius, how to design a specific coat which happened to hit the market at the right time. So there's nothing new under the sun. Every year people are always designing and manufacturing and being ambitious about something they think about and they go with it with the right aim. But for those ideas to work, you, you need your brain to work. You need to be able to count and write and do all those things. That's why going to school for you is so important to learn. Some people try to plan their future. Don't worry about your future. Worry about the present and enjoy your school days whenever you can. Whenever I think about the Bible, the cape was nothing new because in the Bible, one of my favorite characters was Elijah. And God said to Elijah, he was a prophet. Remember, in Bible times, people never had a, a Bible to learn about God. Today, we do have a Bible to learn all about God. But in Bible times, God would use people called prophets or prophetesses. And God would speak to them and tell them to go and deliver a message to a person or to a people. And one of those prophets was called Elijah. He was a champion. He went straight to heaven in a chariot of fire. But he loved God and he lived for God and he would stand up for God. Then God said to him one day, Elijah, I want you to go and find another man called Elisha. He's going to be the new prophet. He's going to work with you for about 10 years. Then you're going to come to heaven and he's going to continue the work of being a prophet. And I said, he will know because whenever you come to him, take off your cape, take off your coat and put it on his shoulders. And I often thought, what was a cape? A cape was like a coat with a big flared edge on it, on sides on it, which would spread right over his shoulder. So when the rain came down, it would wash up the sides. And so he, Elisha went down. Elisha was busy farming and he was busy plowing using he was using 24 oxen why did he use 24 oxen because it hadn't rained for uh, three and a half years so he kept using his oxen to, to do that but Elijah comes to him and takes off his cape and puts it over the shoulders of Elisha and he says from now on you have to, you're done with farming I want you to come and follow me I'm going to train you to be a prophet to be a preacher to teach about God and I want you to come with me so right away whenever he put the cape on him Elisha knew that that was a sign from God God, that he's no longer continuing to farm and he says as, as people he broke up his ply he had a barbecue he had meat for them and he says I'm done with farming I'm saying goodbye to you I'm now going to make my way uh, to be a prophet just like a legend and he left his family he left his friends and he went to teach people about God that was a special calling in his life and sometimes we can plan our lives out we want to go to high school we want to go to university we want to work but sometimes do you ever think about God God's real, God never changes, and God always thinks about you. But he doesn't force his way into your life. He just gently knocks your heart's door, and he says, little children, adults, young people, I'm interested in your life. Are you interested in my life? Are you willing to give up your life for me because I give up my life for you? And sometimes we've got to think about life like that there, because I'm, sometimes we can be selfish and just think about my life and what I want to do. I want to be ambitious. I want to make money. I want to have a house. I want to get married. Everyone has these natural plans but sometimes we can be so busy with our own plans we can forget about God's plan and even forget about God so in Belfast today walking down High Street I thought there used to be a wee boy called John John McGee who had an idea he said Belfast in many ways is a cold country a cold city lots of rain people need something to keep themselves warm to keep themselves the rain off them so he designed a special coat called the, the Ulster coat with a cape on it with not long sleeves so people could still wear the special coat have the cape, cape over them, be stylish, look the part, feel warm, protected from the rain, but the harms were still free to work. And that's why the Lord doesn't want like us to be idle. He wants us to use our hands to work, whether it's riding or whether it's our feet for walking, for working. Don't be lazy. It's easy to be lazy. It's easy to be idle, but God doesn't like it. If he gives you arms, feet, brains, eyes, nose, or you use all these things uh, to help yourself and to help other people. And most of all, if God's give you ability, use your ability. Some people think, I'm not going to study to do my test or do my exams because God's going to help me. God won't help you unless you help yourself. 
is you do your best in life and God will do the rest is a motto that I often use. But I still need to learn. I still need to practice. And remember, practice makes perfect. If you fail, try again. I keep trying until you succeed. So when you're rising up, are you going to be an ambitious person? Are you going to design things? Are you going to work hard? Are you going to do things? Are you going to make an impact? This is well over 100 years ago. We remember the life and the legacy of John McGee, a little boy who grew up to be a man to design a coat used all over the world for many, many years, even to this day, it's still used. John McGee's coat called the Ulster Coat. Used by many famous people all over the world. And little did they realize that was just a wee boy living in Belfast. He had an idea, I want to design a coat. And from a simple design, he was able to make lots of money by selling his coat to other people. Maybe at school you might think you're not so good at school, you find it hard at school. That's normal. Not everyone does well at school. Not everyone finds school easy. But you'll often find a lot of these designers, a lot of these geniuses, they weren't very good at school, but they're the terrific mind. And whenever they applied themselves to what they wanted to do, they were, absolute, they were able to do it with absolute brilliance. So remember, in life you've got educated people and people are not educated. You've got many, many entrepreneurs, business people nowadays whenever, who are older, whenever they trace their childhood, Days. They don't have any education. They left school maybe at 14 years of age and started to work, whatever manufacturing that was, and they realized they had a great gift, a great mind, and were able to develop and design, and they became wonderful business people because they were willing to apply themselves and work hard. So not everyone needs to be good at school, but whatever you do, apply yourself as best you can. You could be a genius, you could be a designer, you could be a very, very important, but while you're at school, don't worry about designing and planning out your life. Enjoy your primary school, enjoy your days at school and learn as much as you can. Whatever you do, don't forget about God because he never forgets about you. That's an interesting story. You didn't know that one, but I'm going to keep on my coat while we sing Jesus Loves Me. Sometimes if it's cold, you need your coat on. Short sleeves, long sleeves. We Charlie's going to help us out. Jesus loves me, this I know. That's good, Charlie. Oh. I know for the Bible tells me so. That's all for my coat. Oh, my coat. All about the coat. And have a lovely day in school. See you. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.